Hello everyone and welcome to another drawing video. Today we're going to be doing something special. We're going to be taking a look at some old characters I made when I was a little kid and we're going to see if we can improve them. We're going to see if we can make them less terrible. Okay, let's start. So this is the first character. Oh boy, isn't she beautiful? So the story behind this character is basically when I first started using YouTube I was really into these animation meme type videos and if you don't know what that is basically somebody would make an animation a short animation to a song for example and then people would animate the same thing but with their character and I know, I think the community is still going on today, but I'm not sure how different it was. I'm not sure how different it is to what it was when I was into it. But back in the day, everyone would animate with paint and with this movie maker, and they would all have. Their character would always be like a cat, and it would have like neon colours. So this was mine. This was my character. I think what I'm most proud of about this character is the colour scheme. That that frickin' dirt yellow fake gold face looks absolutely stunning. So I want to try to keep some of the original concept of the character, but kind of update it a little bit. This character actually has a backstory. Do you want to do you want to see it? Do you want to see it in all its glory? Of course you do. <laughs> Freaking seamless animation right there. Really pushing the boundaries of Windows Paint. Wow. I think when I when I made this, I didn't know that you could shorten the time of how long the frames would hold so so, <laughs> so frames would just last for way too long that's why it looks so slow and terrible oh my god Okay everyone, so this is Mia, Mia the cat. She's 15 years old in cat years and she's currently going through a midlife crisis. And she's aware that she's becoming really old, so she's trying to be hip with the kids by dyeing her fur neon colours. And she has orange all over her face because she wanted to put fake tan on, but she doesn't realise that it doesn't work on cats. I think my 10 year old self would be very proud of this character. It's a vast improvement in my opinion. So this one's a little bit hard to see, but it's basically a dragon. You know when you use paint for the first time and you like scribble a bunch of lines and then fill in all the squares that you made with all the different colours? That's kind of like what this is except I use straight lines. So I guess I'm just going to start by drawing a dragon. I don't know if this character ever had a name. So I'm just going to call him... 
John. John was a normal dragon, living a normal life. Until one day, he contracted a deadly disease which caused his scales to puff up, and he immediately lost all of his friends. But John didn't care, because the disease also expanded his intelligence to that of a different dimension. This took way too long. Okay, so this... This is a Digimon ripoff? It's frickin... Saber Leomon. I even called it... Uh, Mag Magna Sabermon or something like that. When I was a kid I would do this thing where I like saw characters like on TV and then I would forget that I saw it on TV and I'd think of the design later and think that I came up with it. And I think I actually like stole my friend's characters that way. <laughs> I mean look at this one. This one is literally Nyaramon and I thought I was being so clever. Oh, it's it's a ball with ears and tail. No one's thought of that before. But yeah, let's redesign this stupid thing. So I just remembered that this is actually a ripoff also of Magnadramon. That's why it's pink and that's where the Magna part of the name comes from. And the reason it has Mon on the end of its name, despite not being a Digimon OC is because y you know how there's Pokemon and Digimon? As a kid, me and my friends made a third Mon series, and I was just really uncreative with the name, so I just stole the Mon idea from Digimon. So that's why it's called Mon. Good job, 10 year old me. So this is Henry the Hairless Lion. He was born with no fur, but he's like, No, I'm not hairless, I am a pink lion. I am fabulous, fabulous pink lion. Rare, elusive pink lion. Please no bully. And, uh, and the other lions are like, Hen Henry, just just stop. You, it's, uh, you, you're wearing party hats on your head, Henry. And Henry is like, No, I am beautiful pink lion. Stop hating. And then he dabs on <laughs> I'm not putting that in. So this one is actually, I think, the first character I ever really created. It's... It's a Pokemon. And it's... It's, it's got wings. The original Pokemon doesn't usually have wings. Therefore, original character. I was the most creative child ever, I know. Except, unlike the lion one, I didn't indirectly steal it. I, I genuinely chose Espeon specifically and stuck wings on it. But Espeon is a copyrighted character, so I'm gonna try and make it into something original and not a Pokemon ripoff. So this is Long Cat. Um, Long Cat was a normal cat until it swallowed an aeroplane. And it didn't want people to know it swallowed an aeroplane, so it painted the wings green and was like, No, I didn't swallow an aeroplane, I just... I have wings, guys. I'm cool. So here's all the characters that I made today. I just realized that three out of four of them have some kind of insecurity. That's interesting. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. And of course, feel free to try this out for yourself. If you do, leave a link to it and I'll check it out. Okay, bye.
So I know the ending segment of the last video was like 10 years long, so I'm going to keep this one short. Thank you as always for watching and subscribing and leaving lots of comments, I love reading comments. And a special thank you to everyone who draws me artwork, I really love looking through it and adding it to the end of my videos. And it's just really cool, so thank you. But yeah, thanks for watching, check out my other videos if you want to. And bye bye.